Hello my friends. Today we are going to discuss how to register third party SIP phone in Cisco call manager. That means apart from the Cisco application or Cisco hard phones, we can register third party SIP phone into the Cisco Unified Call Manager. In this case, I am going to use third party SIP soft phone to get registered with the Cisco call manager. So for this, we need to some uh, pre-request is actually we need third party SIP phone. We in this case, I'm going to use this 3CX. Actually, this is totally free third party SIP soft phone. You can download it from here. You can see I will put the link on the comment section. You can download this soft phone by using that link. Also, we need another three things. First one is you need dummy MAC address and the agent. Agent means you need end user and the extension number. So we are going to register the third party C phone to the Cisco call manager. Usually we, we are registering with the Cisco IP phone to the Cisco call manager by using the MAC address but when you are going to register third party SIP phone the MAC address is not useful actually in here we are using the end user and its password to get registered with this third party device with the call manager that means the call manager will register that third party SIP phone by using the end user ID and it password so here we need to give the correct end user id and the password in the call manager and also in the third party zip phone so here you have to download this third party zip phone from this website and you have to install into your pc here i have installed this third party zip phone in my pc so first of all we need to create the phone in the call manager and end user also so let's look at how to create the phone so once you go to the call manager you can go to device and phones here usually we are click at new and we are selecting phone type so in here this is not a cisco phone model cisco phone type so you can go down and you can select this option third party zip device there are two options available in here third party zip advanced and basic here i am going to select the advanced zip device and you can click next so this is usual cisco call manager ip phone registration page cisco ip phone registration page as usual you can enter you can fill these details so i am going to give the mac address in here i will copy this actually this is dummy mac address which we have created and description i will give this one as the description so you can give any description in here and device pool and the phone button template and i will select the media resource group list you can select if available and the location if you want here we need to add the end user but still we didn't create the end user in the call manager we will create it later so i will keep this as anonymous and uh, we'll select the device security profile this is third party zip device and this is default one and I will select the SIP profile. This is also default option. I will select standard SIP profile and you can save this. So we need to associate end user in here, but we'll do it later. So the phone configuration is done. Now we have to add the directory number here. So I will select line number one and add the new DN. Once go to the directory number page, I can add the directory number here. So I am going to use 72010 as my 
directory number so I will give this directory number here and I am going to select the route partition here I am going to select lab by dnpt as my route partition so this directory number I will use description as zip user for all you can use any description and alerting name and also search space here it is automatically selected PST in fact bypass because I have added this directory number previously so you can select any particular any suitable calling search space in here and you can come down and you can give the call ID and the ASCII display call ID in here so then you can save this okay we are done now we have added the phone and we give the directory number to that phone but it is not a Cisco phone this is third party zip device you can see the product type is third party zip device now what we have to do is we have to create the end user and we need to associate that end user to here and we need to associate this phone inside the end user let's look at how to do that so first you have to go to the user management and end user so once you go to the end user you can click new and you can add the end user details in here so user id is most important thing and its password because we need to give this user id and password also in this third party zip form okay so here i am going to use the agent one as my user id okay sorry i will copy this one and i will add this one and password and going to give it here and confirm password and if you want you can give pin number here it is not mandatory and last name this is mandatory and if you want you can give middle name first name anything these fields as you want and for the telephone number field I'm going to give this number as my telephone number so for now I'm going to save this so now we give the basic information of the end user and we save it so here I told you we need to add end user to the phone and phone also add inside to the end user so phone we can add in here for this user we need to add the phone as a control device so you can do that by pressing the device association button here you can search the device by you typing the directory number and click find so here you can get the phone you can see this is zip you can see zip is there so if this is a cisco phone you can see the phone type in here if it's a 7811 7911 7942 7941 likewise you can see the model number here but it is not available here because this is zip device this is third party so you can see the zip icon here and you can simply check this button and save the selected so now what happened is that third party zip phone which we have created added to the end user so you can see this so here that phone is added with the MAC address now you can save this now for this agent one end user can control this device that means this device belong to this user kind of thing so once you add this phone to here you can see the primary extension in here so this option only available once you add the control devices if you 
do not add a control device in here this option is not available and if there is a one or two or three or extension in this device so you can see all the extension in here in this case we are using only one extension so that extension you can see in here and you can again save this button okay so these basic things are done now we have to give some uh, access controls to this agent one that means this particular end user here you can do this go to this add to access control group and here you can see several access control options here but i am not going to select one by one i will select all the access control and i will add them so if you want you can restrict these things and you can give the necessary uh, permissions to this end user here this is example so that's why i am giving all the credentials so you can customize this as you want and you can save it now the end user part is done so now what we have to do is i told you oh, sorry so you have to add this end user inside the phone so now we have to go to the again that registered phone actually created phone under the phone tab here you can see zip phone it is not registered yet you can simply go to this and under the owner you can select the user and you can select that end user which we have created so now we have added the end user inside the phone also okay so the basic things are done only one thing we have to do under this phone configuration page you can see there is a digest use option so here also we need to select the agent one this thing is mandatory when we are registering the third party SIP phone into the cisco call manager apart from selecting this digest user you are not able to register the third party SIP phone because the call managers authenticate in this device by using the end user user id and its password not from the mac address that's why we need this thing okay so you can save this so now we are done all the call manager configuration now you have to install this phone in your pc and you can take it so here i have installed this and you can simply go to this this is my previously created profile and you can close this wait uh, i will take it as a new so once you install and you can run the application once you run it uh, freshly you can see this is like this okay it is not loading we'll wait for a minute okay here we go it's come up once you uh, install and take it back so you can see these kind of window in here it is asking which one you need to use auto provision no create profile here i am use the create profile option and we need to create the profile in here so you can click add new and you can give these details in the account name field you can give any name so i am going to use agent one you can give any name in here no problem and the call id i will select as a guru no problem with that also so you can give any call id and the extension should be this one because uh, 
here you can see the call manager extension also same so I will give this one and the ID and password here we need to give the end user in the call manager that end user ID and its password here the user ID is agent1 and I given some password here we need to give this exact user ID and the password in here so I am I will give this one this is my end user ID and the password okay so then you have to add the, your call manager IP in here then no need to do any changes you can simply click OK and now you can click OK so you can see it is not connected it is reading and on hook that on hook mean it is registered so we can see go to the device and fonts here you can see it is registered third party zip phone so here I will use CIPC and we'll try to make a call oh it is something no the issue with the audio i think so i can't get this because of uh, i'm using the remote device so wait i i can change this one actually Okay, here we go. I got my CIPC here and the third part zip port. This is the extension which I am going to dial from here. So 72010 and dial. So you can see it is ringing. You can answer hello. You can end the call. You can dial this extension from here also. 72001 and you can direct from here here also it is ringing hello can you hear me so likewise you can take the call from third party zip phone to cisco phone net uh, from the cisco phone to cisco call manager uh, third party zip phone actually so this is how we can register the third party zip device with the Cisco call manager you can see both phones are get registered and working perfectly so hope this is helpful you can simply try this one so these all are free tools I will uh, give the links inside the comment section sorry inside the description so if you have any doubt any queries please put on the comment section I will give you the answers so hope you learn something thank you very much uh, thank you very much for being with me so we'll meet from another video thank you very much thank you